John McGovern. How are you, man? I'm living the dream down here, man. I'm in uh, I'm in Florida right now, living with my my girlfriend's family. So I'm away from New York, which is where I usually am. It's cold up there right now. Okay, good, man. Good. Yeah. Well, as we jump into this, um, there's something that obviously I think is on a lot of people's minds that I have to ask you. And what I need from you, Tom, what I need from you here is to be honest. Okay? And I yes, mean, sir. you can assume right now the world is watching. Uh, if you don't tell the truth, you know how the internet works. The uh, you know the trolls will be on it. The fact checkers will be on it. You'll right. get found out. So I'm going to ask you a question right up front. You promise to be honest with me. I promise. You seem oh, like you, Tom. You seem like a nice guy. So I want you to be. I'm going to give you I, one, I'm, one more fair warning to be honest here. Okay. Okay. All right. I all right. Clown, just you have my word. Let's just get this first question out of the way. All right. Have you ever? And I mean ever actually sucked on a chili dog. I'm going to be fully honest with you, full transparency. I've never even eaten a chili dog. I've never had a chili dog in my whole life. And wow. I think in order to suck a chili dog, you need to have eaten a chili dog. Neither wow. Dog. Well, right off the bat, that's a revelation I didn't expect you to say. I mean, wow. I, was, I was assuming you were going to say no, and I was hoping you were going to say no, uh, because... Sucking on a chili dog in and of itself is very weird. It's a very strange act. It is. It is. Of all the verbs to choose, sucking on a chili dog. Sucking on many it. ways, many, many things to do with the chili dog, but sucking on one is its not my first choice. You're right. Well, Tom, thanks for joining us on our show. Obviously, uh, you've put out a viral video about a week or so ago, I assume. And uh, boy, has this gained a lot of traction. You're singing a song, uh, an old John Cougar Melonhead song uh, called, S well, I don't know what it's called. Uh, Jack and Diane is the song. And you've changed the words to sucking on a chili dog. Um, before we get into your viral experience, uh, on my end, uh, I've been doing a bit very similar to that for a long time, for years and years, and uh, almost a signature bit in my set. And so for the last week, I've been flooded with messages. Clown bus, what are you going to do about this? This guy's taking your taking your bankroll and running. How are you going to fix it, Clown bus? Right. So I appreciate you being here, and I want to give you uh, the chance to say right now, how'd you come upon the idea? Did you know about Clown bus? What's the scoop? Yeah, so, I mean, first of all, man, thank you for having me. I, I only found out about you when your very loyal following started tagging you across all the platforms. When I uploaded the video, I forget, it was over the weekend sometime, I think. And everyone was typing, Clown just did this, Clown just did this in 2012, he's been doing this forever. And and so I was like, who, let me see who this is. I, I've never even heard of this dude. So sure enough, I Google you and I see what you're doing and it's it's literally unlike anything that I've ever seen. And, uh, and then sure enough, uh, as a creator, this is like a worst case scenario because anyone that creates original content, especially in the social media age, is scared of um, being ripped off and accidentally ripping somebody off. And sure. I, this was just a weird, dumb uh, joke coincidence. I was on, I play uh, PC games with my friends online as we're all scattered across the country. And we get together weekly to, to just play some games and we are just riffing on a joke. And one of my buddies has been singing, sucking on a chili dog, just doing the bit, the bit. Yeah. And I thought that was hilarious. Hearing it from him was the first time that I'd heard of the bit. And we were just riffing on that. And I was like, what if every single word was sung to the cadence that Cougar Mellencamp was singing the melody and the lyrics of the original song, but it was only sucking on chili dog. And, uh, sure enough, dangerously close to the bit that you've been doing for a long time. And I thought, um, throw some harmonies on it. I thought it'd be funny if this dude was referencing lyrics, even though all the lyrics are only sucking on a chili dog. And right. Your, your TikTok is very well, uh, put together. And the whole, the whole bit is well put Thank together. You. And I can tell you, uh, and to, to calm everyone down, um, when I watched it, uh, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, the first couple of days, uh, I couldn't watch it. You know, somebody, I got, it got sent to me so much yeah, and I watched the first, first part and I said, oh, great. You know, this is, uh, uh, and it was something I didn't want to deal with and it did, uh, sting, you know, it felt like I got ripped off for a couple of days, 
But that anger, Tom, was never at you. I never thought, this son of a bitch. I just thought, it's my fault. I had the idea to put a TikTok version of that together when uh, I quit touring last year, and I just never did. Um, and so I was only disappointed in myself. Um, but uh, obviously, the video has picked up a lot of traction uh, very quickly. Yeah. And what I wanted to say, Tom, is this. That is, I believe you, because that is the exact way that I came up with it. You know, uh, 10 years ago or whatever it was, uh, just riffing with friends. You know, we were joking yeah. about how dumb the line was. And so let's lean into it and keep saying the line. Uh, and it's funny. And after doing it on the road, you know, I mean, literally thousands of shows that I've done it at, uh, I can tell you the it's worth gold in, in comedy. It's the part of my show that makes uh, tears come out of people, you know, that makes people buckle over, that makes people say, this is, you know, we like this guy. Uh, and it's so universal, you know, yeah. boomers like it, uh, the kids will like it. I mean, anybody kind of knows the dumb song and can appreciate that kind of uh, humor. So it is uh, such a good bit. And, yeah. you know, you packaged it up and you put it on TikTok. Like I said, I wish I would have done that. But um, I don't think, you know, I believe it's just a case of parallel thinking. And you were uh, quickly nice enough on Twitter to, uh, you know, you, you said something on Twitter to the effect of, um, you know, just acknowledging that you've heard Clownvis did it. Um, mm -hmm. And you seemed like a nice guy. I think we both could have played our cards however we wanted. And I think a lot yeah. of people, a lot of Clownvis fans probably want to see me rip your head off. I'm sure. Uh, but it's just, uh, you know, in those first couple of days, I was like, man, am I supposed to be mad at this guy? Because I don't got much fight in me for that. Yeah. And it's not really a good stance to be fighting over one bit uh, that I've done for probably way too long now, <laughs> you know, and, uh, it's, it's, it's not a good look to hear how long you've done a bit. And uh, I think that you're, you're doing a good job. And just so you know, you have my blessing and I appreciate uh, you coming on this show. Ah, well, that, that means, I mean, that means that's everything to me is, is, uh, as another uh, creator, just to hear that, especially as somebody that has tread that territory for a long time. And, um, I just think that it speaks to the, like you were saying about the bit, it's like a, it's an evergreen bit, brings tears to people's eyes and they're laughing so hard. The number of people that have commented on the Twitter thread saying, this is my buddy Troy's bit, or this is my buddy Craig's bit. I've been That's doing another this karaoke bar yeah. for years. You know, it's like, I think that there's just something, and it had me thinking because obviously very few of my videos have ever this might be the most popular in terms of virality video that I've ever put out. And so that obviously has me thinking like, why this, what about this joke has elevated this video to the heights that it's gotten to, as opposed to other songs. I'm a, I'm a comedy songwriter. That's where I put most of my energy. And there are songs that I've spent three times as much time writing, recording, yeah. producing a video for that get 5% of the traction that this has gotten. Yeah what is it about the bit and yeah, i know well that's why it's been that's why it's you know, that's why so many people um know the bit for me because there wasn't a gig and i do um all across the board literally from uh, nursing homes to the gathering of the juggalos i do i do any kind of gig that, that comes my right. way and that is one bit that it's it works everywhere it works 100 percent of the time everywhere so it doesn't surprise why do you think me it works why do you think it works so well and across demographics? What do you think resonates? I, I don't know. There's something about uh, repetition of, of, of the absurd that can kind of keep tickling for longer than a one punchline joke because, uh, and sometimes when it's something so stupid and you, you keep doing it and it comes back around a few times within the bit that, oh my God, this is still funny, uh, even though now it's funny because it's stupid and now it's funny because you know it gets funny on different levels as people hear it and uh I, you know i don't i don't know i think you 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 did a good job in your tiktok of adding um just a, a, the right amount of uh punch ups you know and like you said with the uh, scrolling of the lyrics and the uh, harmonizing with yourself and um you know my angle was always i i tried re i tried to sound to go from my normal voice into my john cougar mellencamp voice which right, is uh right. You know, more of a sucking on a ch sucking on a chili dog, right? Which, right. by which, by the way, Tom, I'm not here to give you advice, yeah. but uh, if if you want any advice, something you might want to do because you got a good singing voice, 
uh, but in these comedy situations, you might not have to use your most beautiful voice. Uh, maybe when you're singing, sucking on a chili dog, just throw yeah. in a couple extra Y's and W's. Suck, sure. sucking on a chili dog. You know, like that. Give it a try. Sucking on a chili dog. And that's pretty good. Sucking on, uh, and do this with your voice. Yeah. Sucking on a chili dog. Sucking on a chili dog. Sucking on, sucking on a chili dog. And then there's the the head up, down, down, and down, down. You Damn do that really, really well. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's one part that I think got a, you know got got a good reaction. See how many words you can mumble into that. Right. Uh, millisecond there. Right. Sucking on a chili dog. Sucking on a chili dog. Tom, you are going to be fine in this business, <laughs> man. You got this, brother. Thank you, man. Clownfish, it's, uh, it's a, I feel very lucky to be here, and you are sincerely just a, a very cool dude, and nothing but respect for what you have done and what you continue to do. So thank you well, for having me. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, follow at Tom McGovern 27 That's on all the socials, right? That's it. Cross the socials. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, stop with the negative comments. Tom's a good guy. Uh, there's plenty of chili, chili dogs to go around uh, in this day and age. It's 2021. We don't got to be squabbling over chili dogs. That's right. I agree. I totally All agree. All right. Tom, thank you so much, buddy. Thanks, man. I, I appreciate it. Take it easy. Columbus to the rescue.